What is happening with the job market at the moment? So yes, the Dubai market has definitely picked up. But if I'm starting to look for a job in Dubai, uh, what are your recommendations? What, uh, what should I start with? Hey guys, welcome to OxyVlogs. On this channel, I talk about life, work and business in Dubai. And today I have a guest, Trisha Chapman. She is a career consultant and we're gonna talk about the job market in Dubai after COVID-19. So Trisha, please, can you tell us what is happening with the job market at the moment? Has it returned back to normal or not yet? Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me back. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. I'd love to be able to help you all, especially your audience. It's, uh, you know, fantastic that people are aspiring to come to Dubai. So definitely the market has picked up. It might not be at the same level as what it was, you know, pre-COVID, but definitely there are things on the, on the horizon that are uh, showing an improvement. So there's lots of new opportunities across a number of sectors. Um, you know, and I'm sure we'll come to it, but the matter is just trying to get here to be able to get the job. So yes, the Dubai market has definitely picked up, um, you know, maybe even just under where we were pre-COVID. And what do you think, is it easy to get a job from abroad if you live in another country? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, unfortunately, a lot of companies are not hiring unless the job seeker or the, the candidate is in the country. You know, they, they might be taking on a couple of interviews, but to be able to be signing contracts, you really need to be located here. Um, you know, the talent pool is quite big within the UAE, um, so definitely recruiters are selecting or trying to negotiate and work with people who are already based in the UAE. And what do you think, does it make sense to apply for a tourist visa and come to Dubai and start looking for a job or it's too risky? Yeah, well, first of all, um, maybe we could take a step back because there's quite a lot of countries that at the moment, at the time of this recording, and of course things change on you know daily, weekly basis, there's a lot of countries that have got bans on flights. So for example, the likes of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Vietnam, um, you know, South Africa, at the moment, people are not even able to be fly, able to fly here. So then if they're applying for jobs, you know, it makes it very difficult to become accepted when you don't even know when you can get to the country. So, so yes, you know, I would be encouraging those people to, to try and get a three month visa here. Um, but of course, be checking all of the restrictions before you even book your flights. Guys, before we continue, I want to say that if you've been looking for a job in Dubai but you have no success, um, you feel frustrated, Trisha can help you with your job search journey. So Trisha, please, can you tell us what services you provide and how you can help? Be my pleasure. I would absolutely love to be able to help you in unlocking your potential. I'll be able to assist with all of the necessary tools for a successful job application. So what does that mean? A CV, an ATS compliant resume, of course, LinkedIn optimization, cover letters, personal branding, and showcasing how you can unlock your potential. And the most important question, do you help to connect with recruiters? Absolutely. So in all of my packages, you receive a list of all of the UAE recruiters here, as well as a list of available jobs. But are there any updates on employment visa? Uh, in Dubai at the moment? So in terms of employment visas, it's the same. So if you're already here, you'll be able to um, swap your tourist visa to your employment visa. Your employer will be able to help you with the PRO, um, but you wouldn't be able to do that if you're outside of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, can you recommend any companies that are hiring at the moment or what jobs are in demand? Yeah, definitely. So. Um, to be honest with you, there's been a big influx in terms of financial managers, business analysts or finance analysts, digital marketing. Uh, again, I know that I mentioned this on the last little chat we had you know, a few months ago, but healthcare is really big drive for, um, for nurses and the likes. Obviously, we're still suffering a little bit from the pandemic, so uh, it's a big drive uh, in terms of healthcare. Um, but definitely uh, the, the finance industry is a sector to target and big data. So um, yeah, I think also fintech uh, that's up and coming, you know, a lot of emerging cryptocurrency world, this is really taking off in this region. It's sort of the hub for innovation here. Um, so that would be definitely, you know, my, my recommendations to focus on or upskill yourself. You know, if it's something that you're not quite 100% familiar with, but you still want to get into the industry, have a look at some courses to be able to uh, upskill yourself to get into that industry. 
And if I'm starting to look for a job in Dubai, uh, what are your recommendations? What, uh, what should I start with? Uh, well, your network is your net worth. So what I mean by that is if you don't know someone it's, that would be able to try to get you a foot in the door or put in a, um, a recommendation for you, it can be a little bit tricky to get uh, some traction going mm -hmm. because there's so many applicants here. I mean, you can imagine, and I'm sure you would have seen, like sometimes on LinkedIn, for example, you've got 500 applicants for the one position. So if you can get an internal referral in, you know, whether it's you're reaching out to the marketing manager, to the business development manager or HR to try and put your name or your application forward through the internal processes, uh, you'll have a better chance than just being selected from the one out of 500 applicants. So your network, um, make sure that you've got an ATS compliant resume, which I think we touched on before. Um, and of course, making sure that you are applying to the positions that are relevant. So even I myself have been recruiting um, a little bit of late and I'm getting, you know, civil engineers for a position of a finance role. And, <laughs> and then you have 100 series you, that are not relevant. Exactly. And then it, it diminishes the, the job seekers um, mindset and confidence and, you know, you're not hearing back and but because you're not applying for a relevant position. Yeah, it's true. And can you recommend any recruitment agencies? Definitely. Um, I want to maybe give myself a little bit of a plug here if you allow me because I've got a UAE job seeker package mm -hmm. um, and of course any services on a one-to-one -one basis you would receive a list of the 56 recruiters that I've got uh, in one document all in one list. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So instead of like having to search individually any of the packages working with me you, you'd be able to have this, uh, this list and it also includes Saudi, Saudi Arabia uh, recruiters. What are the major portals that people can um, apply through and find a job? Yeah. Okay, first of all, uh, it's really important that you do your homework, guys, because there's a lot of scams out there. Um, I'll just go back to another example. Uh, I was recruiting for a role and someone has screenshotted that application that I have posted uh, and then post that through themselves on Indeed with double the salary. So obviously, you know, it's really, you need to be really careful, do your homework, make sure that you, the job that you're applying for is legitimate. Um, and how you can do that is go through the most common portals. So LinkedIn, Glassdoor and Indeed. Um, uh, Bayet and Nakiri Golf, these are probably the top five um, you know, most common ones. Uh, on top of this, there's a platform that's newly launched, it's called I Want to Work. They've got multiple different jobs, uh, plus the locations of where they all are. But I definitely recommend that you do your homework and you know, make sure that that job is legitimate before you go and apply, because otherwise it's just a lead generator. Vaccination is a hot topic at the moment, especially in the UAE, because I think more than 80% of people uh, has got a vaccine here. So uh, people who are traveling to Dubai and want to move here, they're very concerned about this topic. What do you think, like the company, they require to be vaccinated in the UAE or not yet? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's a good question. It can maybe be sensitive for some because there's obviously still data that's still quite emerging. Um, so at the moment, you know, and again at the time of the recording, because obviously things happen quite quickly here in Dubai. Um, so Abu Dhabi, for example, you know, separate Emirates, you have to be vaccinated to be able to enter the malls and the shopping uh, centres or complexes and public areas or be presenting a negative PCR test within your 48 hour period. In terms of employment, some companies are mandated it or either it's mandated to have or you have to test you know quite frequently um, specific to Dubai you know being the other Emirate it's not currently mandated to be able to enter malls or, or public spaces uh, but who knows I mean this could this could come. change yeah, yeah it could change and at the end of the day you know it, it's, it's everyone's choice if you're willing if you would like to take it take the vaccine it's readily available here in Dubai and on the other hand you know it's really easy to go and get a, a COVID test as well your PCR test so I think it's a great environment you know whether you're pro or, or anti-vax uh, you know it's um, anti-vaccine you, you can still manage here you know it's really well handled. Do you know if it's required to get the vaccine if you work in the healthcare sector? Uh, every employer is different, so mm -hmm. it's highly encouraged um, that you are, because obviously you're on the front line. Again, 
every institute has got their own policy, so I probably won't comment, you know, for specific... Uh, specific so there is no law that it's mandatory in specific sectors? Yeah, not at the moment, mm -hmm. not at the moment. Again, they would be highly encouraging you to, uh, or you have to test really frequent. Okay guys, that was a quick update about the post-COVID situation in Dubai. If you're looking for a job here, but uh, you feel frustrated, you don't hear back from recruiters, Trisha can help you to get a dream job. So there is the link in the description under this video where you can find more information about her services and um, uh, also all my subscribers get a special discount. So check it out and we will see you in the next episode.